Hello, what's up everyone? I am your host, Blue Discord, and this is one of our game of choice tournaments over at Pass Tournaments Galleria. Um, thank you for the omen that has actually suggested this, and we are doing it today as a tournament, which is a fiscal justice parsec tournament. So this is a very interesting game. I have picked up and tried it with Omen for a bit and we had a blast. It's pretty much similar to the Magical Drop series. And yeah, I'm, I'm really kicking it and really excited to actually play this as a tournament as well. So without further ado, let's actually head over to the challenge bracket and the rules for this tournament. So the rules are as follows, leaderboards as you will be pointing to a group of max for the power participants and we'll play three matches together once the games have been completed then the next set of participants will do the same war type and format after this we will look at the scores and put the highest point players in one bracket and lowest point scores in the other bracket and begin round two round two will be followed the same format as round one after round two is done we will then calculate all the scores from the rounds and see who wins the most points overall if there's time between first place then we will have an extra sudden death grand final between the two opponents point rankings for each round first place will be four points second place three points third place two points fourth place one point and let me see if i just refresh as well if we've um, got the people as well so yeah so uh, just to show that it is quite a small tournament we have so we're going to be doing a leaderboard um, standings tournament and we have myself omen and Terrell available so yeah omen has been the person that would suggest the game of choice and yeah i'm myself covering the numbers and Terrell as a regular member of it past tournament gallery is sliding it into the third spot because yeah this is a game that isn't really well known but at the same time, you know, we put the advertisements on and yeah, I'm, I'm really going to be kicking it with this tournament available as well. So I'm actually looking forward to once we do start it and we can actually get it going, really. That's, that is really it, the gist of it. <clears throat> um, so, um, let me see here as well. Um, we actually got a couple of minutes to go and I don't think the participants are ready as of yet um, to join in the voice call so um, let me um, I guess we can kind of just talk about other stuff um, until we can actually slide over and actually get um, things started actually by the way <clears throat> so what I can say that is you know, we had a really good successful Tekken 3 Parsec tournament earlier. Um, we had seven people that participated. Terrell was the winner of that. And it was a good showing because that Tekken 3 is a really beloved game and the matches went really fast. But in, but instead of really the matches going really fast, we definitely saw exploits to cow hits from Harang. We saw versatile Mao characters like Yotsumitsu, Eddie Gordo, etc. And overall, it was a really good standing. As for tournaments late into the future, if I just have to look up on my list right now, so I'm just only pointing out for the Game of Choice tournament. So we actually have WB All Stars coming up next week, followed by WB SmackDown Hick of the Pain. So it's like double wrestling games during a row for two weeks coming. Then we will have the Hyper Dragon Ball Z Mugen game. Um, Kohimi Enbu Ryo Waiwai, that's another game suggested by Omen that we'll be doing. Um, possibly Dead or Alive 5 on that one, we will see. Sonic Riders EX. And um, let's have a look. Uh, Jet Set Radio Future. Graffiti Wars, that was recommended by Backslash. And let's have a look, okay. Oh yeah, Guilty Gear x Rev 2 from, uh, what's his uh, name? I can't remember. And then lastly, Advanced Variable Geo that I was actually speaking with MM quite a few minutes ago around that. So that's what, another thing as well <clears throat> for game of choices. So I haven't actually spoken about the official game tournaments, but those are a game of uh, choice for the participants, the people that have been um, taking part in a lot of our tournaments. So some people are on their third game of choice and second game of choice right now. 
and yeah, it's been quite a blast um, playing these tournaments and stuff. So it is quite busy as well doing the results and stuff. So we are still doing it, and yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah. So we actually got a few minutes to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go back into the voice channel right now and um, talk with the participants. On or off one, you just got to be okay. like. So I'm back in oh. the voice channel right now. So. I got the participants with me, Omen and Terrell, and there are also MMs in the voice channel as well. So yeah, we're gonna be starting fiscal justice in a couple minutes as well. So how are you guys feeling about it? It should be fun. <laughs> should be fun. Haven't heard of the game. Excited. That's it. That's the most I can say. Yeah. But probably Omen knows the game. Yeah. Yeah, because I was, I was going to ask you, Omen, um, you know more <laughs> about it than um, all of us here, so just give us a bit of an introduction about um, Fiscal Justice and also why you chose it as um, your game of choice as well. Well, the thing is that Fiscal Justice is actually a spiritual successor to Money Idol Exchanger, if y'all are familiar with that. Yeah. The objective of the game is, is to combine the, combine the coins the coins to make it into a bigger coin and then continue on with that cycle until it reaches like 500 and then just uh, combine those two together and just disappear also you can make chains it you can make chains of it so okay yeah so i did explain a, a bit more earlier into the recording as well the rule sayings and just because it's us free there might be some altercation to the rules but initially the rules is just going to be three matches for the first round and three matches for the second round and then we just see who's got the most points and stuff but we'll, we'll see depending on timing as well um but yeah i'm i'm ready to go are you guys ready hell yeah okay so you guys can connect up to my parsec right now and then we can actually get going all right i'm late. ready to get last place right, let's see <laughs> After the last tournament, I'm not gonna sit that sure anymore. <laughs> you did really good, so that's all that matters. <laughs> mm, I did more than I expected, though. <laughs> and basically, I'm I'm just I'm still in shock, so I'm just recuperating right now. has connected just wait on you to well can you do the other match it's Have all of what? us together oh all of us yeah yeah all of us together let me let me just at least post it in a couple of places because i have like a oh three tournament and I, I just need to post it in a few places shouldn't take more than a minute oh. is that okay with you okay okay we'll wait thank you so there's only one round right or two rounds two rounds oh there's Okay. So, okay, so Fiscal Gestures, is this a... This is not a fighting game, if I'm correct, right? Puzzle game. It's puzzle like game. A, it's a puzzle game. Okay. Is it a four-player, or is it a two-one... Is it a one-v-one puzzle? Three. Four people. Okay. Up to four people. Yeah. Okay, up to four people? That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, if anybody's gonna screen share it, that'd be cool. I'll probably Hold watch. Up. Yeah, Terrell mm. should be able to screen share. I can. I yeah. can, uh, I can yeah. screen share. Yeah, it would be best if Terrell screen shares. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will, yeah, I will yeah, screen share. I just, need to post. I just need to post. Uh, I just need to, to post some stuff. So I, I don't need you lagging, old man. We do mm. not need you lagging. After that tech. Nope. nope. His thing, when he lags, when he lags, he's good, though. Like, <laughs> so, him lagging is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh for man, him, even, not for you. Even even if I lag or something like that, I still pull off a victory. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what we're, we're trying to tell you. You, uh, you you play better in lag than not than not lag. So. Uh, so <laughs> that's... Uh, I already talked to I already told Omen. Look, it's online. If he beat me, he got me. It's I didn't have the knowledge for the game either, so it's just like, eh. yeah, yeah, he, he had better knowledge than I did. Is oh uh, shoot, I'm not. I'm gonna take it. He got me on the. He got me even on lag. That's pretty. That's pretty good. <laughs> pretty much. Um, but that game was yes, it was something else. That was Terrell's game. 
like I said, I got first to ten him in that and Warriors Rage. Those are those are Tarao games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I, I, I don't know. I think when you said you got serious, I was like, oh shoot, I'm scared. I was scared. I was like, dang. The thing is, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I was serious with BC Deshi. That's wild. <laughs> you know, I better get. I gotta put my egg in because I want to fight her all serious. It's like, okay, I gotta fight you seriously. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, I usually play in a very chilled way when mm -hmm. it comes to Tekken Three, and I just when I say serious, I mean apply foot two D footsies strategies to the game. That's what I meant uh, by serious. So you add another layer. That's what. That's, that's no, no, that's, no. That's basically no. That's basically you focusing on the game, trying to see uh, what player, uh, how how he's gonna, how he's gonna attack. Because Tekken is a very predictable game. The moves are very predictable. Once you know what what your opponent is gonna do, you can read them like a book. Of course, I didn't read him like a book, but you basically can if you wanted to. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I'll be done soon. Um, I'm just finishing my last, and I'll be good to go. Okay. Sorry for sorry for delaying the match. Blue. Uh, no worries. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm coming. Coming to get my last play, last place. Hopefully, well, I don't know. It's not a hopefully anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, because um, while you guys were talking, I was just sorting out the names on the screen. So I've already got Omen as player two, and then Terrell's gonna be player three. On the screen. All right, I'm okay. trying to we'll find you, Frost. <clears throat> okay, cool. So, um, <clears throat> let's uh, try out just to select. Hey, who's controlling? Um, you just you just need to press a button on your side and you'll be able to control, right? Play it through. Yeah, hold on. Maybe A. Oh, uh, A. You can't you can't press anything. Let's try again. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to move that. Yeah. Oh, no, it seems uh, that he already. number he three. Already... Yeah, yeah, you're playing number three, yeah. Okay, it seems that, it seems that he already chose the character, bud. No, I didn't. Oh. I listened first. Alright, might as well. I'm just gonna use Funny Jester, because he's funny. Bug Jester. Oh, you're, you're Bug Jester? No, no, no. It says Funny just. Oh. Oh, 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 there's oh, bug so, oh, so Omen's Bug Jester. Yeah. Okay, so who needs to confirm it? I'm gonna listen uh, first. Yeah, you need to, you need to, yeah, confirm it, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I confirmed it, actually. That was me. Alright, let's go. Uh. So, the thing with this game, like, when I did try to play with Omen um, a while back and stuff, is to connect it um, with the right number and stuff, because I know that there's a certain chain, but... Sometimes I don't know how to get the right chains for this game of connecting it uh, properly, essentially. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, how many 50 coins do I need to put in a vertical stack, or how many 500 coins do I need to put in a vertical stack, etc, etc. Hmm. I would need... Let me see if I can find Juggle Temple Joy. There we go. Reaching. I'm lost. Okay, it's just me and Omen then. Uh, let's see. 
what can I do? Perhaps I can... Mm -hmm. Thing is, I did some training in the... I did some training on Wednesday in the money idol exchanger. Okay. Was 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 the training kind of just like casual games, like with a friend? Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's a tournament actually, and I got beaten. But man, my progress over there really improved actually. Hmm. Yeah, like Riven games or puzzle games, they have like a different rule format because the games go really fast. Sometimes they go like first to ten, first to. Um, mm -hmm. Seven or whatever and stuff, and the matches are like mind blowingly quick as well. So, yeah. Okay, so yes, yeah, so I win this one. Yeah, you win this one. Yeah. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> All right, let's go again. Ooh. Okay, play with the lag, Omen. Play with the lag. I like how you say that and use that. That's really, it's really cool. Mm hmm. Okay. God dang, there's nothing, there's no dual joy cons for if I wanted to play, uh, what's that game? What? Oh well. Uh, never mind. I'm, you guys are recording the game, so I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. Oh, I can't see screen share. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. No, 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 hold on. I'm doing it right now. Don't worry about it. Okay. I forgot to do it. I. I forgot to do it. I was doing some other stuff. That's fine. Oh, okay. That looks like... Oh... Uh... Yeah, it's okay. just like Magical Drop if you ever seen it. Yeah, this oh. game looked like a... This game looked like these guys... These guys look like they are freaking high. <laughs> oh, well, you could put, well, if you put it like that, then... <laughs> maybe, true, true, maybe true. they are. Maybe they it's got too like much the confusion in their... That... This is like a game you would see on Adult Swim, just like, just the animations and everything. I could totally see Adult Swim like making a parody out of this. So well, I reckon. So I reckon I recommend you play Money Idol Exchanger. It's basically more or less the same. It's on 5K if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. I used to play a game kind of similar to this back when. Yeah, I'm there is a game I have no idea how to play. Uh, Even though I've that? tested the game, Hearts of Tsui. Wait, what, what was that? Hearts of Tsui. Uh, I've never heard of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, wait, who's who's oh, um, oh. who's Line. Ah! <laughs> Damn! Uh, right, first match I goes to I filed. Yo, Mega. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go right. for... First match go... Yeah, first match goes to Omen. So we just go again. This time oh I'm my gonna goodness. be losing. Right. <laughs> Allison Fist for me. Oh, is this yeah. someone else joining the voice channel? Yeah, yeah mega. mega. Sorry, can't say the other name, so I'll call him mega. 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 Is this hmm, probably a new person that joined into the server? Oh, Mega. Yeah. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. That's yeah, bouncer. Bounce. <laughs> yeah. Also, by the way, um, this isn't like tournament related, but at the same time, um, you know, yesterday as well. Um, it was me, Sif, and Tara, and I, and I know MMU was um, there as well, like, um, we might actually be doing a couple of um, casual stuff on the Fridays. I just have to um, speak of Sif, because I know that he's down to actually do some casual stuff, and I was thinking, like, you know, maybe on the Fridays and stuff, we will just do a bunch of different games whenever anyone's um, available to play and stuff around us. Oh, casually, Ben, say, that's, a, that's actually a really good idea. We won't officially team... announce it on the server. We won't like you know ping everyone. And be like, hey, this is casual. It's just pretty much, if if you guys see us on the voice channel and we're playing games on that night, then there's a casual event on the night. So that's that's the that's the way how we're gonna do it. But it's not it's not like yeah. something we're gonna do officially all the time though. But we're, we're, we're thinking about it. 
We get to fight Terrell, and I'm gonna fight Terrell <laughs> in a battle now, Pokemon Stadium one, because I need that. I need that match. Why? You've never lost. You've never lost to me in your single fucking night for Pokemon I Stadium mean, I lost one. To, you. to who? Not you. To what? Camp Karate? That's not exactly. Camp Karate. <laughs> No, 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 Kale Karate. There was like an AI oh. stuff. Oh, you mean for Sonic Adventure 2? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm confusing games now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a cool tournament whereby we did uh, the Chow Karate and Chow Racing to spice some things up and um, see how it went, generally. That was uh, something really tells awesome. me. Something tells me that Omen might win this tournament. <laughs> Maybe, perhaps so. Something in the back of my hand was saying, you know, you could win the, the Tekken 2 tournament. Nah. Yeah, yeah, I messed I that up. But hey, money on Terrell. As soon as Terrell was like super excited, I was like, I put my money on him. I put my money <laughs> on my boy Terrell because he put money on me to win Sam Show. Yeah, I put my money on him. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> not real money, but yeah, I do support people. Oh so, man, they kind of. Oh man, it kind of reminds me of me playing pure Hold'em. It's a it's a poker game, actually. And speaking of which, when are we going to be doing the poker tournament? Ooh, that's a that's actually a really good idea. I think um that would probably be on your server for fun there, because you could use uh, <laughs> different clients to use it, not through Parsec. No, 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 no. You can use it. Actually, can you? There, there would probably Let's be go. a Pacific game, like a console game that could be doing it, or a PC game. But at the same time, I would think that Poker would be much more better on the actual client. So, like, if you use like a Red Browser client, it would be easier to do a tournament for that. No, but we don't, we don't do like browser stuff. Remember? Oh, you guys don't do browser? How come you guys don't do browser? There's a reason. Um, there was a reason. I just forgot what what it was. I think I'm getting the use of uh, this game now, so... Yeah, but... Wait, that was round one, right? Or is this round one? This thing? is still round one. It's basically three games in round one. So oh, okay. this is the first, oh. um, third game. And then oh, afterwards, we'll just reset and then do round two. And then we do another three games. And then after that, then we just tally up the points. Overall. Okay, so like after every game is worth one first place gets four points. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. After every game for each round. So let's see. I can do the score. I can do scores. I can tell you scores for the first round. Yeah, because um, I've already got on my side. I've already got like a spreadsheet open for the scores. Yeah, it's six. You got six points. Corral's got two points and or four points. And Omen is right now at eight points. Oh, never mind, blue lost. Mm. Come on, give me at least. Ha! Oh! And with the sixteen and with twelve points, that's in the. Oh no, never mind. That's not round one. Okay. Wait, is there two rounds? Yeah, yeah it's, it's two rounds. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I was about to say, like, wait, it's already over. It's over already. I was like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say two points. I was about to say four points. Sorry. I was about to go ahead and say he's got 12 points now, but no. It's a set. Yeah, run the set. So this is game three. Yeah, okay. third match, but second round four. Mm. Wait, third match? Not nah, it's still first round. Third match. It's first. Never mind. Well, I was, I was saying second round in game, but yeah, third, um, first oh, round. Oh my goodness, oh, it's, it's, it's lagging. Second it's round. lagging. Okay. Damn. Okay. Yeah. It's lagging. Oh goodness. This is bad. Ah, that's okay, man. No worries. 
Okay. Wish you okay, had now, my turn. Okay, now. Wish you had. Wish you had my internet because my internet is not fucking live right now. Uh, no delay. delay. No delay. Or oh delay. no, uh, no delay is different. He's, I don't have he's, lag. Well, you don't refer to the delay because I think it's on his um, internet side whereby someone might be um, using it. And it's yeah, either right. using Netflix or something like that, or yeah. But yeah. So right, right now I'm just um inputting the scores right now for the first round. So twelve for so twelve for Omen, nine for you, six for Terrell. Man, I guess my training in money money idols changer is paying off. Okay, I'm ready for round two. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, I don't know, I'm gonna have to. Believe in the I'm hand gonna grip. Have to believe in the hand of in, in, the, in the heart of. No, the thing is, is, I'm doing I'm doing some grip training over there in order to make my not only my hands but my fingers stronger. Uh, oh. All you have to do is just uh, uh, raise weights or some shit like that. Ah, uh, Benjamin Franklin. That Benjamin Franklin. Good old Benjamin Franklin. Is that? Oh yeah, wasn't he uh, a character from Assassin's Creed? Uh, no, uh, he was not a character from Sesame Street. He was one of the delegates of the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, so he's from Assassin's Creed. Okay, thank you. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. that's, because that's, because remember, um, this Assassin's Creed is based on his actual real time. <laughs> Oh wait, um, hold on. Yeah, that's right. Assassin's Creed 3, there what? <laughs> no, I forgot about that. <laughs> like, I thought you were talking about some other game, my bad. I'm thinking, I was in that Assassin's Creed. I was thinking, I heard you say another game for a second. Yes, yeah. from Assassin. yes, from Assassin's Creed. There you go. Yes, Benjamin Franklin is an actual assassin. It was he? No, no, not, he's a Templar. Oh, he was a Templar? Oh, whoa, rip! <laughs> God dang! I wonder why he was sleeping. Actually, yeah, actually, actually, he actually not really, because he was only a guest character who wasn't even as an assassin or a Templar. But that was like a multiverse story where Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, and other characters were um, Templars, basically, and you oh, okay. killed them. Well, ben Franklin is an assassin. No. Oh dang, he got like he shot. he <laughs> commanded uh, he commanded the uh, armies, I guess. So in a way, in a multiverse, he was. So. I thought he was, a, he was a Quaker, and he had a he had a thing for elderly women, for older women. You know? I mean, don't you, I thought he had. Okay, no mind. I thought he had a thing for elder. <laughs> oh, older women. So like women who are a bit older. So yeah, elderly woman. That's basically what it means. <laughs> I mean, I don't judge. I don't judge either. Like, look, if my man wants to date somebody, if my man wants to date an older woman, and I can't, I, I'm, mm. I can't, I can't Just judge. Just be safe. Yeah. No. Yeah. Literally. No, you're not Judge Dredd, so you can't judge. No. Yeah. And look, don't tell me business, but hey, y'all in for it? Go right on ahead, man. That's on you. Well, it looks like Blue Discord is coming back. It's like he's got the feel of this game now. He I got the do, power of the press. I have the feel of the game, but still, Omen somehow has a better feel than me, and he keeps him beating. Not me. somehow. He is known as a veteran in puzzle games. He's known as a uh, as a very as a guy that has expertise in puzzle games. My expertise is pretty much um, being the newbie that wins at games I've never played before. To be honest, that was a, that was a mistake. The only oh, expertise what can you do? I have is I'm losing. So, 
Like, um, I'm really good at playing games new, and just learning really quick and adapting as fast as possible. Like, um, yeah, I remember yeah. once, so um, basically, Justin Wong was talking about as well, whereby he says that, basically, he would um, go into fighting games brand new, even if it's like, you know, it comes out um, early and stuff, he would go into the training lab and try and get as, as much time as he can to win the um, Division of Tournaments. So, like, back in the early 2000s and 10s and stuff, like, he won a lot of Street Fighter 4 tournaments. But there was one game, uh, Mortal Kombat 9, that came out as well, and... He actually won the first tournament for that as well, which was um, really interesting because, you know, naturally as the tournament um, months went on and stuff, there was much more um, participants that joined and, you know, clearly kicked his ass whereby he left the seat from that. But he was really good in the initial tournaments when the launch day tournaments happened for those games. And that was what one thing I, I love about Justin Moore, what he usually did back then is that he would come in all the two of these initial tournaments, just win it. Um, you know, people don't know like the buttons or the controls yet and stuff, but he had the best strat when it came to those tournaments and stuff. Regardless if, if it wasn't met and stuff, he would know how the game to be played inside out. And he would just win the tournaments. I, I've always admired that from Justin Wong. He doesn't do that nowadays, like he's just a streamer. Um, just streaming um, certain games on his side. But other than that, he, he does a really good job, um, essentially, um, when he... Um, goes into the tournaments uh, blindfolded, really. You know, that's kind of funny because like, uh, um, I never saw him play uh, a, a game with a blindfold, to be honest. That was funny because like, when I got Phantom Breaker this week, last weekend, I was able to keep up with like all the players that have been experienced. I was able to take games off with them. I think I almost, I think today or yesterday, I, I, was, playing, I was playing a guy named... Uh, I was playing a guy who was also playing since probably a year or so into Phantom Breaker as a series. And I was like, I took a set off oh. yesterday. Like, I did some very, I did some very crazy stuff, but I was able to do, I was able to do pretty well in that game. Like, I even when it gets to TO, like, I guess I want to get to TO on some Japanese players, and I was able to take games off them as well. I was like, I'm new to this game. And I'm still learning the characters and everything, but I was like hitting, I was like taking two games, three games. I could take off a game off. Of them. So yeah, I kind of get where you're coming from. No. Yeah, we did um, a Fan Breaker Omnia tournament when it, well, actually, not when it first launched, we, it was like a month afterwards. Uh, well, and I then, wasn't really interested, yeah. or like I didn't know about it as much, but I'm sure if I had played it, or like if I, if you had done it, among like around last week and then i started trying it i i guarantee i probably would have done all right in that tournament i don't know if i would have beat you or gamer anime fan but then again i played melty blood weeks after not playing it and i did pretty all right did pretty decent but <laughs> Yeah, because um, generally back then we had this strat whereby whenever a new game came out, we would just run it as a tournament straight away. Um, I don't, I'm not too sure if we will run new to games as tournaments because you know we actually have like let's just say DNF um, Duel is one of those fighting games we, we want to run as a tournament, but I'm not even too sure if we would run it because at the end of the day, like you know the, the best tournaments we've done have been tournaments that isn't new. It's just something that's just out there for the community that people like, you know. Tekken 3 was one of them, Sonic Adventure 2 was another one. So, you know, these games aren't new. It was just um, something that the community wanted to do as a tournament and it was just much more better. So, the game plan has changed and, you know, we'll, we'll see you the summer. Um, as for Phantom Breaker Omni as a tournament over here, it just has to be done as like a um, game of choice request. So, if anyone does um, pick up, because I know that there's been a couple of people that have joined the server that is a Breaker Omnia fan. And because um, we've actually, um, Phantom Breaker Omni on the YouTube channel has got over 160 views now. So it's the second most popular video behind the Smash Bros tournament, which is actually amazing that a lot of people has come into the channel and been watching the Phantom Breaker Omnia tournament. And then they come to the, the, the Discord server and be like, oh yeah, when's the next one? Because, you know, we don't really run it as kind of like, you know, a game the same game every month or same game every week type of thing over here but you know it's, it's interesting that a lot of people have um, come through and they wanted to see a tournament for Phantom Breaker on there there hasn't been an official tournament yet for anyone like there hasn't been 
any like really competitive guys like Team Spooky or anyone like that that has run an actual. Um, there was some Japanese Japanese players have been doing tournaments for it. Uh, we were supposed to have a Swiss tournament today, but guy said one of the guys said um, because of like low turnout, um, he was not going to do the tournament, and I guess the lag and everything got to him, but. Oh yeah, because it is um, delay based as well. So everyone that's going to be joining needs to have a really good internet because you know, once one person has shit internet, it's, it's, not even a, it's not even about delay. It's just that Samsung has bad internet. No, we're not talking about Samsung. We're breaker. talking about Phantom Breaker, Omnia. Oh, Phantom Breaker. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not sure about Phantom Breaker. I thought you were talking about Samsung. My bad. Yeah. So um, generally, two games. Yeah, that's two games. So we're gonna be doing the last game right now. Okay. I'll be honest. So that's eight points for if Omen. If Parsec didn't exist, we wouldn't be playing these great games, I guess. Yeah, we wouldn't be playing yeah. Fiscal Justice. That is true. I wouldn't be playing Pokemon Stadium. Overwatch. Alive. People wouldn't be pushing me into the ocean in Overwatch as well. Yeah, Overcooked. <laughs> I mean, what was yeah. the what was the turnout, by the way, for that Phantom Breaker Omnia tournament? How much people did they even get? Well, they were gonna. It was like five people, but and there was gonna be. I was probably gonna go in as a sixth person, as a sixth person, five, fifth or sixth person, because I know the TL was probably not gonna was feeling frustrated, like not doing so well on the Switch. So did he have like a prize pool in, involved? Like he was gonna actually get people to. He was gonna do a match arena for it. Honestly. Oh, okay. He's gonna so. do a match arena for it. But I'm like, you get, you had five people. You could have easily done like, you know, top three would have probably done a smaller prize pool. But hey, you would have got top three done. Is that was that the um, community Discord server for Phantom Breaker Omnia, like the unofficial yeah. one? Um, the Phantom Breaker one with the Rocket Panda people, yes. No, not with the Rocket. So, like, they have two different um, Phantom Break and Omnia servers. So, they have the Rocket Panda, the official one, and then they have, like, an unofficial one based around the community. Yes, they have an unofficial one with the Phantom Breaker, not the Rocket not the Rocket Panda server. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that I actually ran, ran into and actually did the advertisement for it um, down there. So, like, you know, we had the Phantom Break and Omnia tournament, and I actually advertised in that server. None of them was on board to do a tournament. But the funny thing was, after we did the tournament, that's when they started joining our server and stuff. And it was like, oh, you guys did a tournament? And I wanted to join? And that, that always happens. That That's an always common thing with um, doing tournaments, is that people will join yes. after watching yes. the tournament. It and then, happens. Yeah, and it's, it's something it whereby happens. you have to take the opportunity. If something is there, like, right in front of your face, and they say, like, hey, man, you know, this this is what's going to happen at this time. you got to take it, because once it's done, you have no idea when it's ever going to be done again. And that that is what I always would um, advise for anyone that is going to be looking to yeah. join any tournaments, is that yeah. just take it. Just do it. Like, don't try to say, like, you know, you're busy or anything and have an excuse and stuff. Just, just run it, because, you know, no one's really going to make time for you, generally. Um, it's the tournament organizer's decision when the tournament happens, and that is the way how you should look at it like if a tournament happens on that day and stuff just, just sign up and just compete because that history that that memory will be in your um scope last forever because like when you don't join that's when you have no memories for it and you just do not know when that's gonna happen and, and then if that tournament does happen um luckily it might be on a really bad day for you so that's why i always say for advice for people and stuff and you know that we, we we've had that because like you know Samurai Showdown, a lot of people joined the Discord server after. It's like, oh yeah, when did next Samurai Showdown? I love the the way how you guys did it and stuff. And I was like, you know, it's tough luck really because the tournament's done now, and our server's not like that unfortunately. So yeah. definitely take your chances when it can be done um, for any tournament, for any the, server. The thing is, people usually look at Discords in terms of activity. So if they see like a, if they see that someone's doing like a tournament, eh, I don't think they're gonna make a tournament or something like that. Or it wasn't advertised properly. They're, they're probably say, ah, oh, they're amateurs or some shit like that. 
even if there so, are yeah, amateurs yeah. and stuff, there's it's something whereby like a tournament's already happening anyway. That's that's the beauty of it. Me and you know that. Me and you know that. But the other people are just they 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 just wanna go with a good uh, the good atmosphere for a tournament. They don't know they don't know you. They, oh yeah, you guys they can have disconnect by the way. It's uh, they haven't talked to you. So that's basically it. So they're kind of wary, is basically what I'm saying. Careful. So after, so who won that last one? It was um. Omen, Omen won the last one. Um, the last uh, game. He's won all the games actually. So 24 points. The winners. So oh. just uh. Misclicked. Yeah. Ego trip. Six points here. So Terrell has six points. Blue had uh, nine points in first and second rounds. So yeah. So second first place goes to Omen. Second place goes to Blue Discord, and third place goes to Terrell. So I'm um, Jatsy just turning up the scores right now, and. Okay, so let me just put it on the recording here. <clears throat> My bad if I was like doing that right. premature. So, I was, like, let's see. In, um, in first place goes to the Omen at 24 points after the um, rounds have done. And in second place has gone to me in a total of 18 points. And then in last place and third place was Terrell in 12 points. So, um, mm. for you guys. Oh, um, um, Omen and Terrell, um, what are your thoughts of those um, placings there? I, I say my training paid off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Congrats, Omen. Mm -hmm. So, officially, Omen, this is your first ever championship title over at Pass Tournaments Galleria. I'm not too sure. No, 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 you didn't actually have any tag team champion titles and stuff. But yeah, this no. is officially yeah your first tournament from your own game of choice. So that, mm -hmm. th from here, that pretty much shows it that you know game of choices and stuff. Yeah, sometimes we have game of choices from people that's done it, and there's been different winners. But you know, for the most part, you will have a better chance uh -huh. of winning the titles over here if it's your own game of choice, really. So, congrats. Yep. Wait, wasn't there wasn't multiplayer game of choice? No, it no, wasn't. it wasn't. No. But yeah, without yeah, further no. ado, I'm actually gonna actually end the recording here because um, I mean I, I do have final thoughts around the game. The game was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I didn't practice it on my side itself, and Omen clearly has more experience than both me and Terrell and stuff. And at the same time, though, like I, I actually did like to have a bit of a break um, after the tech inside and have a bit of a different game. And this was definitely the best game to actually have a break after you know the commentary from Tech and Free, essentially. But yeah, um, yeah hopefully everyone that will be watching the video actually enjoyed themselves and next week as i said there's gonna be a wrestling game of choice for um the tournament and also yeah um hope to see everyone there for next week and yeah we'll see everyone later and um, have a good weekend and take care take care and see ya